Monkey D. Luffy. Let's be honest here. Luffy is reaching insane level. I'm still obsessed with that chapter 1001 moment where Kaido compares Luffy to Rocks, Roger, Whitebeard, Odin, and Shanks. That is a moment that I'll never forget in the One Piece story. He's reaching an insane level in power, but of course, Gear 4th in this rooftop battle still has its weaknesses. No hockey for 10 minutes. Yes, you get amazing power, but that weakness is still huge. And Luffy as a character, his double ability, he was a weakness to Enel. Because a lot of people are talking about Enel and the silhouette. Let me talk about how Enel back in Skypiea was unstoppable. But Luffy with his rubber came clutch. And that pretty much, like we've seen the effects of it today. Luffy with Big Mom showing her lightning attacks are still like over tanking those stuff. Because he's of course the weakness to lightning. But rubber has its weaknesses too. Uh, I actually researched the weaknesses of rubber and some things that br were brought up, of course, were extreme cold. Uh, we see we saw that in Drum Kingdom, of course, when it comes to him trying to climb the mountain. Uh, and He was bleeding and all that, trying to carry Nami and Sanji in the cold weather. Of course, Aokiji in that one shot he got like pretty much destroyed by Aokiji. And of course, Monet in Punk Hazard where he got trapped by Monet in the snow. All I'm saying is this, Luffy, of course, cold weather, I think that's most people's weaknesses. And another weakness of rubber is fire. And of course, we all saw Luffy got scarred by Akainu's magma, so it makes sense. And of course, his guts was overpowering Kaido's heat breath. But at the end of the day, he still took damage to that heat breath. He just was, he just was, how to say this, overpowering in a sense. Like, he doesn't care about the pain, he just goes in. What I'm trying to say is this, this though. The first weakness that popped up when I searched up rubber... Was well, something that I believe Green Bull will be able to use, guys. Yes, Green Bull, the Marine Admiral. I'm gonna discuss that in more in depth because this video is a Green Bull video, not a Luffy video. But I think Green Bull, the reason why he's so valuable as a Marine Admiral is because he's gonna have the ultimate weakness to Luffy. Because I think Luffy will have two characters who understand his weaknesses. That's gonna be really troubling for Luffy. Green Bull's gonna be that first character, and the second character is gonna be Blackbeard, of course, with the Yami Yami to be able to take away Luffy's double ability. We saw that in Down Dino. Luffy was like, I'm bleeding. Like, Luffy was shocked. So I'm hyped to see how Luffy is gonna counteract these weaknesses because we saw what happened to Anna when he got dealt with someone with his weakness. Luffy gave him that beatdown. But speaking of beatdown, make sure you guys beat down that subscribe button and that turn on notifications because I want you to beat down that button too. But I wanna say this let's try to get this video to a thousand likes. I'm planning to upload another video discussing some. Something very very huge in the one piece uh story so make sure this video gets a thousand likes because another video is coming very very soon less than 24 hours guys we're not sleeping i'm going blackbeard mode and for this video of course i'll be using the 5w format when it comes to the marine admiral green bull and the first w i want to talk about is who who is green bull well to answer that question i feel like green bull is the opposite of luffy like luffy loves to eat we all seen luffy grub down after these war arcs or after these like story arcs luffy's always feasting like he can't even wait to feast after Onigashima. But let's be honest with you, Green Bull hasn't feasted for years. He hasn't been eating that lasagna, guys. It's been years of him fasting. And he said something like, the only way he's going to stop fasting is if a lady comes through. That's something that Luffy doesn't even care about. Luffy doesn't care about the ladies. Like, the most beautiful woman in the world, Boa Hancock, was loving Luffy. And he did not give a damn. Now, I do want to say this. Fujitora, with the help of Green Bull, took down Luffy's big bro, Sabo. And that's setting up a faded clash. Because I think Green Bull and Sabo, like, Luffy's going to be pissed off at green bull like taking away taking down my big bro and sabu's how much danger sabu's in might definitely uh highlight green bill and luffy because we saw when luffy saw blackbeard the guy took down ace luffy was pissed so when luffy sees of course uh green bill the guy took down sabu luffy's gonna be angry too guys i'm seeing similar in the stories and one piece is gonna be on fire then the next w i want to talk about is where where will green bill be pretty much highlighted because you guys all see the thumbnail, Marine Ford, uh, New Marine Ford, the headquarters. I do think that New Marine Ford, of course, we're going to see a lot of Green Bull action there because that's the like, HQ of Marines. So we see Akainu there and Kizaru there. And like that's where all the most of the Marines stay there or the Holy Land. But I do feel like LBF is going to be the arc where Green Bull pretty much shines. Uh, like we see the Marines have those Vice Admiral Giants. Like how many Giants did we see in Marine Ford? There's definitely a connection to LBF and the Marines. Uh, there could be some sort of deal, like the same deal that Prince Loki, of course, wanted with Big Mom, but 
Lola pretty much ruined that. So I definitely could see a situation where giants and marines, there's a connection there. We all know Kaido with his numbers and like Big Mom, like all these guys are trying to get giants under them because they know how powerful giants can be in a war. Giants can tip the scale and everyone knows that. Like, so I'm happy to see Elbeth be a hotbed of marine and Strahd pirates madness, guys. Yes, Elbaf is Greenbow's art, guys. And we all know Elbaf with the giant tree, Greenbow. So a lot of people think there's any plant based stuff. So hype, hype, hype. Now, this question usually is one of the harder ones to answer, but I'll be honest with you, I think this is actually a simple answer, question to answer. And that's why. Why Greenbow? Well, honestly, think about every Luffy interaction with an admiral. Luffy first had his first interaction with Aokiji, who destroyed. Think about it. Aokiji destroyed him. Then we had Kizaru, who pretty much left him helpless, making him act uncharacteristically, saying, everyone run away. That's what Kizaru did to him. And then, of course, the next Admiral, of course, in Marine Ford. Yes, we saw Kizaru pretty much bully him in Marine Ford, but Akainu scarred him. And like, that scar is never going to leave Luffy. So I definitely feel like post timescape we're seeing a similar trend. Fujitora destroy, like pretty much it's like Fujitora versus Luffy. Like, that's, that's no contest, but Fujitora just has, like, Aokiji gave him hope. Aokiji left him to live after destroying him. Fujitora could have destroyed him, but left him to live in a sense. Green Bull will crush that hope, just like Kizara crushed Luffy's hope. And I see, kind of similar when it comes to that kind of scarring Luffy, I think we're going to have a opposite where Kobe will be the final Admiral that Luffy faces. And it's not going to be scarring Luffy, but actually defeating Luffy. Okay, not really defeating Luffy, but giving Luffy the hardest matchup he's ever had. Uh, like, when it comes to the Marines, I think Kobe and Luffy is going to be a great battle. Kind of remind me of a Garb versus Roger, guy. So, the hype is real. I'm loving it, guys. It's been seeing the trends of pre times skill post times with the Admirals. You got to understand, the Admirals are top tier characters in the story. So the next W I have to talk about is when, and this is a simple answer. After Wano, it is obvious. Luffy, like he doesn't not have to fight Green Bull after Wano, but I feel like it's hyped up because Green Bull is a silhouetted character, just like we saw in Chapter 1004 in that silhouetted character. Just what we saw Odin and the hype that Odin brought after he was silhouetted. If you get silhouetted, you know you're gonna bring some greatness. Like Aokiji was still silhouetted, guys. So Green Bull, the fact that he's silhouetted. There's going to be some hype with Greenbow as a character, guys. I'm extremely excited to see uh, what Greenbow brings. I think it's after Wano. This new animal is going to be set up. Now, if they could do a plot twist and have Greenbow fight Us Usopp at the end of the story. Like, all of Luffy's top dogs, Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp fighting admirals with Luffy. And, like, Usopp versus Greenbow, Sanji versus Kizaru. Zora vs. Fujitora, Luffy vs. Akainu. They could do that if they want to, but I think Greenbull is going to be a story arc villain, guys. And Luffy's going to have to take him out 1v1. Because the Yonkos right now, he's having a team-up moment with the Yonkos, with other pirates. But an Admiral 1v1 is going to be amazing be just as equal to taking out a Yonko with help, guys. So the hype is real for Luffy. He's getting close to that Pirate King status. Everyone who catches up to One Piece, I always tell them the same thing. Luffy's becoming Pirate King, so you caught up at the right time. But the question that you guys all want me to answer, Luffy's weakness, pretty much. What? Is, does Green Bull have that is Luffy's weakness? Well, I think Green Bull has the fruit ability that is called the Acid Acid Fruit. When I searched up the rubber weaknesses, the first thing that popped up was Acid. And I would not be surprised if Acid is like a green corrosive substance where like Green Bull is able to damage Luffy with this attack. And Luffy might be even brought to the brink of death because of Green Bull. Like Luffy having a weakness, like that would be crazy, guys. It reminds me of Magellan and Magellan and Impel Down who destroyed Luffy, completely destroyed him in that arc multiple times. Hell's Judgment. Now Luffy, of course, has the antidote. But still, at the end of the day, Luffy was getting beat down by Magellan. I think Green Bull's into the exact same thing. So Green Bull might, might not be stronger than the Yonkos, but he will have Luffy's weakness that will be more dangerous than the Yonkos, guys. And I think this is going to be the same similar how Impo Down was the last arc before the last arc before time skip. Green Bull's Elba Fark is going to be the last arc before the last arc in the One Piece story, guys. So Green Bull's going to transition to Blackbeard. And I feel like Green Bull doing some crazy stuff is going to be a very, very enjoyable arc. And I could see after the final arc and the entire story, just how after Marine 4 we had an ASL flashback, we might have a Joy Boy flashback after the final arc of One Piece. And it's going to be similar when it comes to that trend in a sense because Luffy is said to be Joy Boy. So the hype is real. I'm excited as a fan of the story to see the greatness that like is going to happen when it comes to Greenbow joining the story. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts because let me just keep it real, guys. Greenbow, acid, acid fruit ability. Like, if Luffy loses some sort of limbs to Greenbow because of his power and ability, not, never minding Awakening and Hockey and all that, you know, Greenbow might be the most dangerous guy Luffy faces to the date he faces him. 
but that's pretty much my thoughts on Green Ball as a character. Like, he could be the strongest admiral, like, honestly. Now, I do think that Akainu is the strongest admiral, but he's the fleet admiral. So, when it comes to Kizaru, Fujitora, and Green Ball, he could actually be the strongest admiral. Even though a lot of people like to say Kizaru is the strongest admiral right now. Like, guys, he might be overpowered to the same level as Kizaru when it comes to his powers and abilities. So, the real, for real Kogu hype is still there, guys. I know after Yonko's in, like, one or not, when she with Big Mom and Kaido versus Luffy, Kid, Law, Killer, of course and Zoro who's going doing the most in on the rooftop Zoro's going all out like the hype is good how are you how are we gonna bring that hype to an admiral but let me tell you guys right now admirals are not losing hype guys they're just how like top young commanders are losing hype to, they're not losing hype to me the admirals are not losing hype to me admirals are top tier and they're about to do some crazy stuff so i think green is gonna pretty much get the respect back to the admirals but i want to hear your guys thoughts i love when you guys comments guys uh turn notifications because i got another video coming out but like and share if you enjoy like and share only if you enjoy subscribe for more one piece content i'm the legend knock and i'm Gone.